Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's How to Sell from the Stage Like a Pro training program. Finally, a proven step-by-step -step formula for closing more sales from the stage with extreme confidence. If you speak from the stage and want to have more audience members anxious to invest in your programs and solutions, then do yourself a favor and invest in Jim's proven formula, and you'll soon be closing more sales like a pro. Check it out today at www.howtosellfromthestage.com. That's www.howtosellfromthestage.com. Hey everybody, it's Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. You know, I had two interviews this morning. I have another one in a couple hours, all based on my book, Stop Waiting For It To Get Easier, Create Your Dream Business Now. And um, by the way, thank you to uh, Jessica and her team at interviewconnections.com. She's booking me all these appointments, which is getting me out there in front of big audiences and getting um, books sold. So thank you very much, Jessica. Great service. Um, just flew into my head, but that's the way I roll on Newsletter Guru TV. On this episode of Newsletter Guru TV, I want to talk to you about something that I, I keep getting asked a lot. I, I do describe it in the book, and so the, I'm getting this question. Jim, a lot of times when you talk on your videos or on your podcast, you talk about entrepreneurs and small business owners. Why don't you just say one or the other? Aren't they the same? And I think, you know, in so this is my opinion, that's why you're here for my opinion, but entrepreneurs and small business owners, I think the difference is mindset. Now it's very possible a small business owner can be an entrepreneur, okay? But in reality, what I, in my world, what I have found that most small business owners um, run a business and in order to grow their business and be more profitable, they sell more of whatever it is they sell. One of the examples I say a lot is if you have a jewelry store, you are, run a small business, you're a small business owner, you happen to sell a lot of jewelry. One of the things you want to do if you want to grow your business to become more profitable is to find different ways to sell more jewelry. If, let's say you have a strip center store, 1,200 square foot stall in a nice strip center and you're selling, maybe you grow your business to a million dollars and you're maxed out, you can't fit any more showcases, the showcases themselves are packed with rings, jewelry, necklaces, whatever, and you, you some at some point you say to yourself, I, if we're going to keep growing, honey or whoever your partner is, honey, if we're going to keep growing our business, we need to add a second location and therefore you keep going selling more and more jewelry. That's the mind of a small business owner. Nothing wrong with that if that's who you are and that's what you want to do. I think an entrepreneur is somebody who's not just focused on selling more of whatever they're selling almost at the time. An entrepreneur is somebody who's a little more maybe freewheeling, shoot from the hip, wealth creation building mentality, if you will. So an example may be, well, I'll use me as an example. If when I started my if when I started my business doing newsletters, that took off and, and went really well. And then I took it on to another level. I wanted to figure out leverage. How do I expand my current my current operation where I'm working with local businesses and that created news no hassle newsletters where I now sell, you know, templates and content to businesses are literally almost around the world in nine different countries actually and then I started a number of things a printing business a coaching business my, running my masterminds selling my books selling my information marketing programs like the one I just launched um, a couple weeks ago how to sell from the stage like a pro in other words all these different things in addition to whatever my core business was which was newsletters are now multiple streams of revenue so an, a, a small business owner is somebody who focuses on selling more growing their core business as profitable as it can be in my world I think an entrepreneur is somebody who does that but in addition what are these other things I can do to create my dream business and that's really what it's all about and it's just funny the second time I got asked that today and I, I know I had to shoot this video for next week so I'd, that's what I'm going to talk about. So and that's what I think the difference is between an entrepreneur and a small business owner. One is very much focused on creating more of what they sell and selling more of what they sell. And the other is more wealth creation. What are the different ways that I can add wealth and create wealth and financial security and time freedom for myself and things like that. So that's probably a short message. I hope you found some value in that. By the way, 
one of the things that I wanted to mention to you right now, because we're going to be launching in a couple days from now, so by the time this video comes out, it will be live, is my Stop Waiting Academy, which is going to be a workshop that I'm doing in Las Vegas, March 13th, 14th, and 15th. The website for that, which will be live, is StopWaitingAcademy.com. Um, so I'd like to invite you to come. This is going to be a boutique style event, so seating is going to be very limited by nature because what I'm going to do is work one on one. I'm going to do 90% of the teaching. It'll be me on stage with a small group teaching you how to create a million dollar platform on a shoestring budget. In other words, how to do all this different marketing that you see me doing uh, without really spending a lot of money, but being seen everywhere, being attractive, attracting potential clients. That's one of the things I'm going to teach, but I don't want to turn this video. Did you hear that? I think that a bird just hit my window. Maybe you didn't hear it, so I should just not say it. But anyway, um, do check out StopWaitingAcademy.com. Um, I'd love to invite you to come out there and spend a few days with me in Las Vegas. I guarantee I will rock your world. I'm going to teach you so much stuff. I'm going to reveal, pull back the curtain on my own business and reveal all the different ways that I've grown, all the marketing I do and things like that. I'm going to bring my support team so you have a chance to ask them questions. It's going to be a pretty cool event. Anyway, back on track here. If you found some value out of what I've just shared with you about entrepreneurs versus small business owners, I'd appreciate it very much if you'd click the like button, share this on your news feed, or, and leave a comment. I always love reading your comments. It's pretty cool. And um, we're just about to tick over, I think, 100,000 views on my YouTube channel, which is, plays the same videos as Newsletter Guru TV, but um, that's pretty cool as well. And um, before the day's out, look for ways that you can do something nice for somebody. Random acts of kindness. We need to do a lot more. That's me. That's you. That's everybody that's watching. Just be nice to somebody today. Wave them into traffic. Help them out at the register. Say, hey, I like your coat. Whatever it is. I want you to make it your mission to put a smile on somebody's face today. It's going to make the world a much nicer place. And be sure to check out Stick Like Glue Radio, the weekly podcast that's dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers so they stay longer, spend more, and refer more. And by the way, the episode that launches this week, so go ahead and check it out, I interviewed John Taffer. John Taffer is the very energetic guy who goes in and turns around failing bars on Spike TV's Bar Rescue. It was such a pleasure to, to interview and talk with John, so check that out at GetJimPalmer.com, or you can subscribe at iTunes. I think that's it. That should do it anyway. <laughs> Save my breath for another interview in a couple hours. My name is Jim Palmer. I'm the host of News at a Guru TV. I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. You take good care.